Tube Review. What's going on, Tube Nation? Tony Tube's coming back at you. And um, right now I wanted to talk a little bit about... Uh, there's a, there's, you know, some things have been going around on the internet the last year and, you know, and it actually kind of started, you know, with me for, with, on the movie fights episode that I was on, on the screen junkie show, which was, um, who should be the next Wolverine. And there's a lot of hoopla going around right now as to who should take over this spot. How are they going to do this? How are they going to replace Hugh Jackman? Well, you know, and we came up with some things on, on uh, the screen junkie sh- or on movie fights and everything, and they were really good. You know, picks and everything. Everybody's looking at Tom Hardy and and uh, Scott Eastwood and Carl Urban and all these people and stuff. And and I came up with uh, uh, Taron Egerton, if that's even how you Egerton Egerton. I don't know. Uh, but Kingsman Secret Service. He's also in Legend, uh, the new Tom Hardy movie. Interestingly enough. But anyways, um, I I talked about him and and the it was you know talked about how well you can't just cast somebody younger as Wolverine right now, that wouldn't work. You know, something would have to happen and everything. And that's pretty much what, uh, how I lost that argument on movie fights. But here is what I think could happen here. And, because I did a little digging, and I reread some comics and stuff like that, and what I think, basically, there's, I thought to myself, there's got to be a mutant out there that can de-age somebody. You know, there's mutants for all sorts of different things and everything, and I and I, I, I really dug into it, and I couldn't find one. I could not find a mutant that de-aged somebody. So, I thought to myself, well, it'd be cool if they just, you know, made up a new mutant. You can do that. I mean, Marvel can do that. that. I know a lot of people might be pissed, but you can still do that. But then I dug a little further into the uncanny X-Men uh, comic book series, and there is actually a character in their name Moira McTaggart who is interestingly enough played by Rose Byrne in these new reboots well uh, prequels of of the X-Men and stuff um, Days of Future Past and First Class Uh, Rose Byrne plays Moira McTaggart and she's more along the lines of like a government spook kinda you know in in the movies and stuff and she's she's not really big into into the science aspect of it it seems but what the the comic books portray her as is this you know kind of budding you know scientist and stuff, and she actually engineered something that uh, de-aged Magneto, and a lot of problems occur, and he ends up kind of freaking out on her and stuff, trying to get her to reverse the process because it started fucking with him really bad. Um, but there it is, right there. There's got to be a way. That you can enter, you know, you could put it in there that Moira, Moira, Moira McTaggart could, you know, have stumbled upon this, you know, the study or something like that, and figured out a way to do this, and maybe she was, you know, keeping it safe so nobody it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands, what have you. Um, but you know, and then it it's get it gets introduced into Wolverine, probably against his fucking will, if you ask me. And I think that would be a really, really cool story after Apocalypse to solve this whole Wolverine crisis because people are like, oh, just get rid of Wolverine. We don't have to get rid of Wolverine. We can dumb him down a little, not dumb him down, cut back his time in the movies a little bit and cut back his star and kind of do a whole, I hope I'm not crossing some lines here, but kind of do a whole search for Spock kind of thing with him, you know, bring him back up because... You know, how long has he been that age? You know, it's kind of interesting because, you know, in Origins, it shows him, you know, he was a, a child at one point in time. You know, he grew up into this 35 to 45 year old dude, and then he just stopped. But he's, you can still see, I mean, even if the movies continuitally, continuitally, I don't know if that's a word, but if the movies are following along, the age, the presence of, of Hugh Jackman's aging, then it shows that, yes, Wolverine does age a little bit, you know, and we're seeing that a little bit. But we can bring in this Moira McTaggart experiment, and somehow or another, Wolverine becomes the victim of yet another crazy, tragic experiment that fucks him up for a long while. So, there you have it. There is my uh, Brian, Brian Singer, Hugh Jackman. You guys can take this to the bank, man. 
because it would be an awesome, that'd be an awesome thing to do, and it would solve a lot of fucking problems and shit, and I love the X-Men, and I think that what Brian Singer is bringing back to it, fuck you, what Brian Singer is bringing back to it, as well as the original director, I can't fucking remember his name from first class, uh, guys did a good job, you know, of bringing this back a little bit and, and retooling it, but not completely rebooting it. Uh, so let's keep it going and let's keep Wolverine in there. Wolverine is fucking awesome. So let's keep Wolvie in there, okay? So there's my pitch for how to fix the whole Hugh Jackman's old as fuck and we still like Wolverine problem. So... Thank you very much for tuning in to Tube Review. Check me out on Completely Unoriginal. There's a uh, link in the description below. It's a podcast out of dakotabroadcasting.com with Adam St. Paul and Adam St. Paul and Kurt Campbell, respectively. And uh, also check me out every other Tubes Day at Slackers in Aberdeen, South Dakota at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, the next one will be on the 9th of February, so do the math every other Tuesday after that and stuff like that. I do uh, stand-up comedy there, so come and check me out. I'm there with the likes of John Boone and Spencer Dobson, and lots of other really, really good talent and stuff. So come and check me out there. And thanks for tuning in to Tube Review. If you like what you see, hit the little subscribe button over there. I like to put some shit out. I like talking about movies and stuff and hopefully making you laugh every once in a while. So thank you very much. Hugh Jackman, Brian Singer, get back to me, man. We'll write it up together. That'd be awesome. Tube Review. Tube Review.